Now, this story is absolutely positively disheartening to all those folks listening or watching this program. A school district sees lunches for 40 elementary students in debt. And let me explain this to you, because I went to school, I went to public school, whoop, 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 for public school. And I remember, like, if you didn't have your, like, we used to have little accounts, and my mom would give me a $20 check every week to put on my account. And from time to time, I would either go negative in my account or have to pay the balance back, or... If you didn't, you get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a milk. Like, they would always give you something to eat. They weren't allowed to make you go hungry. So if you didn't have any money, they would give you a peanut butter jelly sandwich and a milk. Nourishment for your body. Well, a Salt Lake City Elementary school at the Salt Lake City School District said the following. So there's a couple of parents, about 40 of them, that owed money to the school. And in order to, you know, get retribution, what the school decided to do because they found out after the kids were already given their lunch tray, right? It's like, oh, you didn't pay your debt. So we're going to come in, we're gonna swipe your lunch from in front of you, and we're gonna throw it in the trash. So just imagine being a third grader, or fourth grader, or fifth grader, and having your lunch just taken from you. You're look, sitting there getting ready to eat your baked chicken or your pizza, or your macaroni and cheese, and your apple and your yogurt, and a school official just comes and just grabs a tray from in front of you and throws it in the garbage because your mom forgot to give you the check to pay your account or your parents might have been busy or maybe your mom doesn't get paid until Thursday and today's Wednesday. America, we deserve better than that. And to make matters even worse, to make matters even worse, the school, depart the school, the school sent out an apology on Facebook and this is what it read. This situation could have and should have been handled in a different manner. We apologize, the post said. We understand the feelings of upset parents and students who say that they were embarrassed. This is an embarrassing and humiliating situation. Beyond being embarrassed and humiliating, it's also just immoral. It's absolutely immoral to literally, literally take food out of the mouth of babies. Literally. Little third, little Johnny's eating his curds and whey and you swipe his tray. America, we can do better than this. And I gotta tell you, I've got to tell you, free lunch at school should just be, a, it should, I think it should be free for all students, me personally speaking. Maybe I'm asking for too much because we know hungry children just don't learn. It's impossible. Their stomachs are hurting. They're not learning. America, we can do better than that. Utah, Salt Lake City, you definitely can do better than that. So tonight, I am calling you out. <laughs>